Hey everybody, Tim here with today's episode of Star Trek Voyager Season 3, Episode 5, False Prophets. So, let's back up. Seven years ago, The Next Generation, Season 3, Episode 8, The Price came out. Um, just to kind of give you guys a quick refresher, if you guys didn't watch that review or hadn't seen that episode, the Enterprise is comes across a wormhole that is supposed to be the first stable wormhole so this episode set up basically deep space nine it's kind of a lot to do with that one and it turns out that the the front of the wormhole the part that's in the alpha quadrant is stable it is stationary and it's there and the this region of space it's in the people who own it are trying to sell it the other part of it is is not stable. It kind of moves. All it's supposed to go to I think it was the gamma quadrant, but when like two Ferengi go through it and Data and Jordy go through it, it turns out that they're in the delta quadrant because the it's I think Jordy compares it to a snake if I remember correctly that it's just moving all across the galaxy. Um, well, Jordy and Data are like, screw this, and they go back through the wormhole very, very quickly. Whereas the two Ferengi are like, don't tell us what to do, humans. And they get stuck in the Delta Quadrant, and then basically that's the end of the episode. So here we are, uh, Season 3, Episode 5, seven years later into... Now we're into Voyager, and this episode, that episode gets a sequel in this one, and it's it's really well done, and I actually really like how, like, I would love to meet the writer who was like, hey, do you remember that episode we did seven years ago? Why don't we, like, see where they're at now? Because now Voyager is stuck in the Delta Quadrant and basically comes across this planet who is worshipping these two gods, for lack of a better word, and it's the two Ferengi who were who got stranded in the Delta Quadrant. Basically, as you can kind of gather from the episode, their ship crashed, and they were like, we're prophets! And they basically take ownership, and all they have left is the replicator. So that allows them to be like, we can create things out of thin air. Um, one of them as is the same actor from the original series. The other I was like kind of happy about. He was now played by Leslie Jordan, who is like super famous. He was he plays like Beverly in uh, the Will and Grace series. He's in a TV show now. Um, he's a great actor. He was in The Help. Um, so it was kind of cool to see like the two Ferengi and basically trying to develop like their own society and using the rules of acquisition. Uh, Overall, like Voyager, like has some debates. Like, do we allow this? Do we not allow this? Because um, Tuvok makes the point that the the Prime Directive says, "Hey, we can't really do anything about this because these people are now worshiping these idols, and that's their own development." And Janeway's like, "Well, they're here because of us, so we can." So they decide to send Neelix basically undercover as the Grand Proxy. And he, they reference the Grand Nagus and stuff, which I also like because Ethan Phillips uh, played a Ferengi in the Menage Troy episode of The Next Generation. So this is like his second time being a Ferengi as far as the actor is concerned. Um, of course, they see through it and they want to like kill the messenger. They make up their own rules of acquisition. And overall, by the time we get to the end of the episode, they we do beam them aboard and they like steal their shuttle and like try to escape, get sucked through the wormhole, and presumably arrive back in the Alpha Quadrant, whereas because they do that, it throws off its direct trajectory of the wormhole, and now Voyager's once again, like, stuck. And there's the obligated scene of Janeway being like, set a course for home, warp six, and because we're stuck in the exact same place we were in. Overall, I thought this was great. I really liked this episode. I really liked seeing the Ferengi again, and I just thought it was overall really, really interesting to see how we come full circle with that storyline. For those who have seen this one, what did you think about like that seven year like gap between these two episodes? Go ahead, let me know. Thank you guys for subscribing. Thank you guys for watching. Thank you guys for everything. And I will see you guys next time for Remember.